Good evening. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to tell you the tale of King Arthur and this quest to find the opening sequence. A rather unusual tale, but one that must be told. Once upon a time, in the land of Camelot, there was a king named Arthur, who went on a noble quest to find the opening sequence. I heard you're going on a quest. That's right. I'm going on a quest for the opening sequence. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I want in. I'm afraid I can't allow that. You see, this journey is no place for a woman. Very well then. I shall go on my own quest. I don't need you. All right then. <laughs> and he went off in search of more knights. Excuse me, sir. What? I was wondering if you'd be willing to join me on a quest to... A quest? Certainly! But can I bring my wife because she's always nagging me about how I never take her anywhere? Well, I wouldn't normally because you see... Please, I can't take any more nagging. Oh, all right, but... Don't tell a soul. Believe me, I won't tell a soul. As he walked, he chanced upon a brave knight named Lancelot. I know, horribly cliche, but when you're stuck on a name, what can you do? <laughs> Quick, darling, get the dragon ready. But won't he be able to tell it's not the real beast of... Don't say the name out loud, darling. And don't worry, it will work. <laughs> All right. Ah, help! The beast! Ah! Ah! Unhand my wife, you fiend! Yeah! Excuse me, brave Sir Knight. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. I didn't vote for him! Oh, shut up. I'm looking for knights to assist me in my quest. A quest? I would be more than honored. It's amazing. Follow me then. After enlisting brave Sir Lancelot, King Arthur continued on his search for more knights. One day, he chanced upon a castle in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Where are, where are, don't, don't look at me like that. I'm not Scottish. I don't know how to say the town names. Just watch the thing. One day, my lad, all this will be yours. What? The giant, you mean the giant TV that we have despite it being the 14th century? No! The, the castle and the land around it. Yeesh. Someday you will rule this land, and all who occupy it will bow down to you. But I don't want to be a ruler. What do you mean you don't want to be a great ruler? I don't want to be a boss of people. That's not my thing. I prefer to sing. Oh no, no you don't. Not in my castle. You're not going to be singing any songs. Yeah. Look, you stay here and think about it. You'll be a great ruler yet, son. Oh, father. <laughs> now the prince is not to leave the room while, until I come and get him. I want him to thoroughly think this over. Right, the prince is not to leave the room until we come and get him. No, till when I come and get him. Right. You are not to leave the room until the prince comes to get you. No. The prince is not supposed to leave the room until I come and get him. Right. We are not to leave the room until you come and get us. No, no. Oh, forget it. This is getting far too silly anyway. Right. The prince is not to leave the room until you come and get him. That is exactly right. I'm going to shut up while I'm ahead. 
Teardrop. <laughs> Greetings, gentlemen. How do you have a gun in medieval? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, young sir. Yes? Would you like to assist me on a quest? A quest? Oh, I'm afraid I can't. I'm not supposed to leave the room until my father comes for me. And besides, quests really aren't my thing. I'm not up for that uh, fighting and stuff like that. I much prefer to sing. Oh, oh, no, no. No singing. Not in my movie. Very well, then. Uh... I suppose I'll just take a nap. Eh. What a terrible character he was. <laughs> Dover Cliff. This is where the enchant. This is where they say the enchanter lives. Hmm. Excuse me, great enchanter. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you the great enchanter of the cliff? Some call me the enchanter. Others call me Fred. I'll let you have your pick. <laughs> now, <clears throat> what do you seek to know or get or whatever you're here for? I was wondering if you'd be able to assist me on my quest to... Why, certainly! Well, right on! Along the way, he enlisted even more knights to join his troop and assist him on his quest, including... Sir Harold the Wise, Sir Luke the Obnoxious, Sir George the Humble, and Sir Quincy the Small. Hi! And with the Enchanter as their guide, they were on their way. There it is. The Cave of Doom. Home of the abominable cave creature. Be warned. He's a fierce little fella. No matter how big this creature is, it's toast. Right! That's it? That's the abominable cave creature? Yeah, well, I'm not afraid of that little menace. One hot dog coming up! Here, final! Ah! Oh dear, it seems the creature has eaten your wife. At least you were smart enough not to eat the head. There's practically nothing in there. I warned you. Oh, that horrible, horrible creature. I refuse to stand for this. Men, charge! Charge! And thus the battle began. <laughs> Ooh! Didn't know there'd be so many sword fighting sounds after all the way battling one teeny, teeny, tiny little dog. Did you see that? That's a dangerous job. You leave my friends alone, you little furball! Uh, 
is the gore festival. Oh my damn. Oh, run. Save yourselves, you fools. Oh. How many men have we lost? Uh, look, sir. And we lost the enchanter, too. I guess that means we're flying blind now. Come on, men. And so they continued on their journey. And five days later, they arrived. At the door of doom. Sorry, the door of death. I can't read those bloody cue cards. Oh no. The door of death. Anyone who wants to get past must answer three questions. Anyone who gets a question wrong never lives to tell the tale. You first, Sir Luke. Uh, I got a better idea. How about, uh... Uh, Sir Lancelot goes first. Right, I'm gonna attack him from the back. No, then... just answer the three questions. Right. <laughs> Stop! Whoever approacheth the door of death must answer me these questions three. Ere the other side he see. Very well then, ask your questions. What? Is your name? Sir Lancelot of Camelot. What is your quest? To seek something. What is your favorite color? Blue. Very well then, off you go. Thank you. I can do that. Step aside. <laughs> Stop. Whoever approacheth the door of death must answer me these questions three, ere the other side he see. Ask me whatever you want, I'm not afraid. What is your name? Sir Luke of Camelot. What is your quest? To seek... something. What is the capital of Assyria? I don't know that. <laughs> Stop! Whoever approacheth the door of death must answer me these questions three, ere the other side he see. What is your name? Sir Herod the Wise of Camelot. What is your quest? I am seeking something. Apparently that's a acceptable answer, an acceptable answer, so I'll go with that. What is your favorite color? Uh, um, you know, I'm not really quite sure. You see, you see I, I don't really uh, have a favorite color. <laughs> Whoever approacheth the door of death must answer me these questions three. And yeah, 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 get on with it. What is your name? I am Arthur, King of the Britons. What is your favorite color? Maroon. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? An African or a European swallow? I... Don't know that. How do you know so much about swallows? One must if one wants to be a king. Come, gentlemen. Swallows? Last time I remember, remember it was sparrows. <clears throat> anyway. After three more days of... Hiking and trailing and whatever it is they had to do to get to where they went to next. Ugh. Blasted cue cards. Bring them closer. <clears throat> anyway, 
They soon arrived at the gate of a, a weird gate thingy with a rabbit. Found to be some excitement there. Just watch the thing. Ugh. I need another drink. Stop. None shall pass. What? Another one? Oh, I am so sick of these lousy stinking trials on this lousy stinking quack! It was then that he was sucked into a time vortex for his constant complaining. Yep, that's what time vortexes actually look like. <laughs> Old tissue boxes. Have you tried doing this with our budget? Absolutely nil! Anyway, back to the story. You can't stop us. You're just a little itty bitty rabbit. And we are five, four, four grown men. Maybe I am unable to stop you. But he is able. What are you talking about? <coughs> Whoa! Oh no, it's the dreaded beast of. <coughs> <coughs> So this is how it ends. <gasps> that ghastly thing will surely eat us all! It seemed that this was it for Arthur and his men. It was then that the puppeteer operating the dragon had a fatal heart attack. Struth! And the dreaded beast was no more. <laughs> and so the three remaining men forged on. And after three days of trekking in the moors, something interesting finally happened. We have footage of it. Here it is. That's a bloody horrible segue. Who wrote that? They're sacked, I tell you. King Arthur, look. Hey, Kingy baby! Sir Luke? You survived the door of death! Yes, we had did. Say, where's the guard of the door of death? The, you know, the short guy? The big mouth? Damn PC error! Uh, I'm afraid we had to eat him. <laughs> now that's more like it! You what? Well, it was, we've been in that box for three days. We needed something to eat. And, oh well, that doesn't matter now. Behold, our quest is over. We have found our destination. It's beautiful. A TV. We made this dangerous quest in search of a TV. No, not the TV. It's just watch. There we go. There. Wait, 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 so you're telling me we risked our lives on this quest for an opening sequence for some weird show thing when this is medieval times and television hasn't even been invented yet? Mm. Ah, no! No! Ah! Ew, I hate that time vortex. Yeah, me too! Shut up! Back to the story now. In the meantime, while you've been clowning around, look what I found! <gasps> the 
glasses of Archimedes! Now that's what we should have been searching for. I think it's safe to call you stupid, sir. I'm out of here. Goodbye, sir. Tail lights, baby. Eh. Nap time. And so ends our tale. And now, for what you all came to see, a man asleep on a bus stop. Why are you still here? Did you, see, did you see the sun on his face? It's the end! Go home! Or turn off your computer! I mean... What else is there for you to... Oh right, there's other videos. And other stuff too. <laughs> Forgot. My swelled head. Well... <clears throat> with all that stuff you've got to do? Why are you still here? <laughs> Seriously, go! Go! Maybe if I leave first, then you'll leave. Right. What a loony! Talking to the camera like it's a person. You want to talk, you're talking to yourself. Who said that? Ma? Mr. Hooper? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? I guess I'm the only one here then. Wow, this is big. I want to see that snoring guy again. <laughs>